Y'all miss mom cooking every day? Well, guys, she can't cook right now because she's working. I would never let my spouse talk to me like that. Well, I will say that the Scott's kids are gorgeous. They are beautiful. They look just like a nice combination of both Tisha and Marcel, but they look more like Marcel to me, like the son and the daughter. But what y'all think about how the son spoke or whatever? Someone made a good point about this could be editing like that. Uh, I would never let my spouse talk to me like that. Doesn't seem like it quite went in that order, but he did say that. And I find it interesting. And I want to also note that somebody mentioned now, you know, it's one thing for people, to, for you to feel that people are hating on your relationship from the outside. But when your kids start to say things, then you know that maybe it's something that you should look into. And I feel like that's a really good point because kids don't have no reason to lie. You know what I mean? They say kids are so honest. They'll tell you if your breasts stink, if your hair look a mess, if you look fat. Like, they're not just going to sugarcoat anything. And I feel as though, like, even though um, Marceau's son don't, Marceau and Tisha's son don't look um, like a little, little kid, but he's young enough to still not have that filter. And he's going to say what it looked like. And, but who knows? What if the twist is <laughs> he really said that to Tisha and not Marcel? Now, that would be funny. Like, I'm really interested in seeing how this next episode actually plays out to see how it all comes together. But what do y'all think? i also seen comments with people saying that he needed to stay in a child's place. <clears throat> I don't know. I was like, why? Okay. He didn't say anything disrespectful, though. I feel like some of those toxic Negro spiritual rules that came about kind of need to change, like the way we do parenting. I really feel like, but like I said, I'm going to have to watch the whole thing in context. But I didn't feel like he said anything that was wrong or, oh, he's too grown. Um I really do feel like sometimes we need to listen to kids because like I said, kids are honest. They're not jaded and they just be keeping it real. They say it straight up as it is, you know, and just because it's something that like we don't like don't mean that. OK, now you're too grown. You're too fast. You need to stay in a child's place. We need to like cut the child down to size. No, I don't like all that. You know, and I think people are adopting that whole to that new rule of how when people say what goes on this house needs to stay in this house. A lot of people aren't feeling that like toxic ideology that we grew up hearing that, you know, nowadays people are seeking therapy. We are seeking ways other than like keeping it inside us and being all strong and not letting nobody see us sweat and not being able to cry or talk about our feelings. Uh-uh, we not having that in this new generation onward and forward you know i'm glad that we're speaking about things and family struggles and family dynamics um i think it's really important in my opinion i don't know everything i may not know algebra or however that beyonce song go but i do feel like some of the things that we grew up hearing um wasn't really necessary even like i was telling my one friend uh, you know how there's this big debate online about women and men overweight and stuff. And I just feel like has anybody really asked or tried to look at to why this could be, especially not making excuses, but I feel like we need to look at this thing holistically, especially women that may have come from lower to lo lower middle class and lower poverty kind of areas where there's a bunch of corner stores and not really a lot of uh, grocery stores. They call them like food deserts. So sometimes people don't have the best access to apples and oranges. We're going to eat some chips, some blue quarter corner store juice. We're going to eat like some tasty cake, some some Boston baked beans, some M&Ms. Like even though that stuff not good for us, that's just kind of what's readily available. And I feel like that could play a part into why you know, certain people and certain demographics are overweight. Don't mean that we got to stay that way, but I just feel like we got to start attacking the root cause before we just start attacking, um, I guess, the final result, you know? So I say all that to say. I had to take up for Marceau's son when I seen people saying that he needed to stay in a child's place. Um, what does that even mean? I mean, I know what it means, but it's just like, why? He really didn't say nothing bad to me in that clip. Parents, y'all could drop down in the comments and let me know how y'all feel about it. But 
I thought he was just being honest and keeping it real. And maybe it would, whether he said it to Tisha, because like I said, editing, but he said to Tisha uh, or Marcel, it should give both of them the opportunity to look at the relationship for what it is, because that may not be something you, that's that may not be the model that you want to show your kids, because I did learn that as well. Um, what we see our parents do, we are most likely, not always, um, most likely to emulate, to follow in the footsteps of. So you don't want your kids thinking that's okay to disrespect their spouse or for the disrespected spouse to feel like it's okay to be disrespected. So we'll see how it all unfolds. I may have to do a follow-up, but I just wanted to share that clip and um, get y'all's opinions and see what y'all thought about it. Other than that, let me know what you guys think, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Medicine, quite a man, a girl was having sex. Medicine, quite a man, a girl was having sex.